I'm going to explain now uh, optimal binary search trees. So the problem um, setup that we have is uh, that we have a set of n elements, okay, and they are uh, sorted order, and for each element we have a probability, okay. So uh, the output that we want is we want a uh, binary uh, search tree. So it's ordered in uh, so it's in in um, small to large order, uh, such that the number of comparison that we need to do in expectation is as small as possible. So that means that those elements that we tend to see many times, uh, we want them to be at the root or close to the root. Okay. So consider a simple case. We have two elements, um, an ant, uh, probability 0 0.4, and the b, the probability 0 0.6. Okay. So we have two ways we can organize this uh, binary tree. Either we put b in the root, or we put ant in the root. Um, what is the expected uh, search time in each case? In the case of uh, the b's in the root, we have um, that for finding the ant, we need to traverse to do two comparisons. So that's two times 0 0.4, the probability, plus 0 0.6 because for b we need to do just one, and so the total is 1.4. Or differently, we can say it's one because with probability one we have to compare to b, and with probability 0 0.4 we have to go down and compare to ant. Uh, similarly, if we have the other order. Um, then we get uh, 1.6, and uh, because 1.4 is smaller, this is the better order, which makes sense because B is the more probable um, uh, string, so uh, we want to put it at the root. Okay, now let's think about how we're going to do this thing in general. Okay, so we have uh, n elements, each one has a probability. Uh, we define some notation, so Pij is the probability of all of the elements from i plus 1 to j. So for instance, um, p1, uh, 5 would be this, the sum of these uh, probabilities here. That would be p1, 5. Okay? Wij is basically the optimal weighted path length for a subtree that contains these elements exactly. Okay, so we decide basically here are the elements we want to organize in one subtree. And now how are we going to do it in the best way? Um, we'll have to somehow choose which element to put in the root and then continue from there. Okay, so we'll basically say, let's say that we put P4 in the root and then we'll have P5 here and we'll have here um, 2 and 3, okay? And then we'll have to organize those. Um, so Wij is when we try all of these possibilities and we take the minimum. So what do we have? The Wii is, is, uh, corresponds to no elements. It's empty, so therefore we define it as 0. Wii plus 1 is exactly one element whose probability is Pi, so the weighted um, path length is um, 1 times pi or simply pi. Uh, now this is the most probably uh, the most important uh, formula in this uh, short video. It basically defines what would be the um, weighted uh, path length uh, optimal weighted path length for set ij, it says it's the probability of getting to that uh, this, uh, that part of the tree plus the minimum uh, over choosing the root of the optimal weight for the left part plus the optimal weight for the right part. Okay, so that's really the recursion that is the heart of how we are going to calculate it. And uh, as uh, another side important information, we have which is the, the root element that uh, we choose to put for ij, okay? Which is the best element to choose as a root for this subsequence? Okay, so uh, let's see this for six nodes. So for six nodes, we have um, 
First, we're going to check uh, what it ha it will happen with element 1. So we put uh, 1 here as the root, and everybody else is on its right, so on this subtree. And so in this case, we get that the expected um, weight is 1 plus w1 to 6, so the, the best way to organize those. And so W06 is at most this, right? It can't be bigger than this because this is one solution and we're looking for the best solution. Okay, for if we choose 2 to be in the root, we get a sum of 1 plus W01 plus W26. And similarly, for if we choose 3, we get 1 plus W02 plus W36. Okay, so uh, we can write this whole thing as a recursion. We basically uh, define this procedure to find the minimum, uh, the optimal tree. And, um, and um, uh, th when we want to do it for the whole tree, we'll just do, we'll just call find min uh, for 0 to n. Okay? Um, so, uh, we have here the base conditions. If i is equal to j, that's empty, so we return 0. If i plus 1 is equal to j, then we return um, pi, which is the just, just the single element. And for anything longer, we basically go through all the possibilities of what might be the root. And for each such choice, we... Um, we sum the fine min for the left subtree, the fine min for the right subtree, and add to that pij. Okay, so we get oikj for all k in the range i plus 1 to j. And then we take wij to be the minimum over all these k's, and rij to be the arg minimum, so the element that uh, minimizes, the k that minimizes this um, these values, and we return wij's. So this is a perfectly legitimate algorithm. The only problem is that it is very inefficient. Why is it inefficient? Um, well, suppose that we are looking at a particular um, region here from this here to here. So that is uh, w15, um, okay? So this um, uh, can be a subtree in many different trees. So um, we can we can have uh, many different ways in which this will appear as a subtree. And whenever we um, get to this um, segment as a subtree, we recalculate um, the optimal subtree. And that uh, is just uh, unnecessary uh, recalculation, repeated recalculation of um, of of the values and. Um, we can do better than that. So to do better than that, the basic idea is to use something called dynamic programming. And uh, what we mean here is um, that first we calculate uh, pij, and we calculate wij um, from the shortest to the longer strings. Okay, So first we calculate uh, w. Um, I I uh, for length zero and those are all zero. That's easy enough. Then we calculate um, the P I J and W I J for all those such that it's I and I plus one. So um, that's also a starting easy condition. With length two, we get a more interesting uh, calculation. Um, here we have two elements. And this is exactly the situation that we saw before with the ant and the, the bee. So there are really just two possibilities. And these possibilities are represented here. Um, one of these values is uh, 0 because it's an, empty, um, it's an empty element. The other one is just uh, P, this is P2 and this is uh, P1, right? So, um, so we get essentially the same calculation as we did with the two elements, and we can continue with more elements, which we'll do um, in the next uh, video.